In Office 365 Exchange Online, there is an option in the mobile device management policies that allows us to require device encryption in order for communication to work between any mobile devices and our Exchange Online server. So let's take a look at how that's set up and what that means. So we're going to click on the admin icon in our Office home page, which takes us to the Office Admin Center. Go ahead and click on Admin Centers in the lower left-hand corner and click on Exchange. Once we click on Exchange, it'll take us to the Exchange Admin Center. On the left-hand side, go ahead and click on Mobile, and at the top, click on Mobile Device Mailbox Policies. Now, you may only see the default policy unless you created a custom one, which we've done in a previous video. And you can see it's set to default, so that's the one that's going to affect all of the different mobile devices. So you can either edit the default policy or create a new custom one and make it the default. And you can take a look at that video if you need to. So we'll, we'll double click on the custom policy and this is the one that is the default. So we know that any changes that we make here will affect the mobile devices. So we click security on the left hand side at the top and we see the option to require encryption on device. So what does that mean? Well, every phone has an option to have encryption turned on for that phone. Now, you can look that up for each different brand phone that's out there. So what this means for Office 365 is you cannot synchronize your phone to the email on Office 365 unless your device has full encryption turned on. So it encrypts the hard drive on the phone. So in this case, if we leave this box checked, that will be required. Otherwise, the phone will pop up a message when you go to set up the Exchange email saying that this server requires that you encrypt the device. So if you want to have that type of protection, which I think is a good idea in case your phone is lost and you're worried about uh, someone being able to crack the password and get into it, then the encryption will keep that from uh, ever being uh, deciphered so people will not be able to read what's on it. However, it will force your users to encrypt their devices. So if you do check that box, be prepared for a lot of phone calls because people will not know how to encrypt their devices themselves. So once you have the information from Apple and uh, on Androids, you pretty much have the majority of the phones right there to uh, with instructions on how to encrypt the device and then Exchange will synchronize with your phones. So that's how you turn on uh, re and require encryption on the mobile devices. When done, you can click Save.